Hello, I'm Stein Kuipers from This Is Not Rocket Science. I'm here at Dutch Polar Fest 2019, and we are proudly presenting our prototype of the Phoenix 4. Uh, the Phoenix is a classic synthesizer originally developed by Synthon, and we got the great opportunity and honor to uh, be allowed to build part four in the series. So uh, without further ado, here it is. Phoenix has a whole bunch of different components. We tried to make it sort of the Swiss army knife of synthesis. Um, it has a whole range of different oscillators and input capabilities, like an external input. Uh, the classic Phoenix oscillator is taken from the Phoenix 1 and 2. It has a chord oscillator, which is three analog oscillators with digital chord control. A digital oscillator, which uh, is sort of a best of collection of our own digital experiments through the years. Um, it has a, an envelope section with mostly classical envelopes as found on the older Phoenixes. Uh, standard ADSR, a HDSRD for uh, a nice drum and piano sounds. It has a whole modulation section which, which comprises of a bunch of different LFOs, classic analog LFOs, our digital wobbler LFO, uh, a noise box which is uh, a whole different video. It has analog noise and digital noise options. Um, then there is the, um, the slew limiter of course, which you need one for all the classic 303 bass patterns. We have a bunch of filters. Um, on this particular prototype, we have three analog filters, low pass gate, state variable filter, and letter filter. Uh, the multiband filter sadly uh, didn't make it. We are replacing this with a digital filter, digital multiband, which has a vocoder and a 10 band forming filter, and uh, a special sort of standard filter, but which we'll talk about in the um, future event. Uh, then there's a whole effects section, which has an analog phaser, analog wave multiplier, and wave shaper folder. Um, and a digital delay system for really long delays, reverbs, chorus, flanger, and uh, things like that. Uh, then everything is nicely color-coded, as you can see. So the yellow things have their jacks here in the yellow block, red and red, blue and blue. And everything that's not colored is gray, is um, categorized as utility. Uh, we have the sequencer, we have five VCAs, we have a master output with two panning, uh, panning channels and all kinds of utility mixers. And there is, of course, uh, our tiny screen system, which has an oscilloscope and a four-channel CV gate interface for USB MIDI, uh, DIN MIDI, uh, arpeggiators, uh, and clocks. So that's, that's roughly uh, what's in the box. Uh, this thing is not yet available. We are still very much finalizing our, um, our manufacturing and then uh, hopefully getting it out near the end of this year. Um, there is a waiting list at thisisnotrocketscience.nl. Uh, be quick, because it's very close to full. So if, you, if you're interested at all, street price is about 5,000 euro, get on the list and hopefully we'll deliver it uh, this year.